Welcome back to this series on how to edit videos in CapCut. Now today, we're diving into the world of color grading using CapCut on your computer. If you missed out on any of the previous episodes, make sure to check them out and learn a lot of the basics in CapCut editing. Now let's get started with episode number five, grading color in CapCut. Now again, we're back in our project here and the first thing you'll notice is the variety of filter presets CapCut offers. These presets are an easy way to enhance the mood and feel of your video with just a few clicks. So just simply click on the filter tab here and then browse through all these presets and just click on them and we can already see how it affects the video. So yeah, CapCut again just offers a huge range of options from cinematic to vintage looks. Let's try some of them out. Here we have, for example, a very warm one. This Jingle Bells filter here. Well, yeah, I really love it because it gives that warm cinematic look. And then we also have this Humble filter here. And now you can see that gives it more of a dark, desaturated look, which could also be really cool in your video. So yeah, again, just, I wanna jump back here to that Jingle Bells one. Um, because I think it, I'll just stick with this. It looks so perfect in my video. But you, for your project, of course, experiment with these presets until you find the one that matches your style and that look that you want to go for in your video. Now, while we have these filter presets and they're great and everything, sometimes you just need to be a little more precise and have some more control over your video colors. And that is where the manual color adjustment right here comes in so just click on adjustments and then you can see we have access to all these tools here you can just tweak the brightness or we could change the contrast of the video and you can see how it already affects the video over here in our preview we can play around with the saturation and see how it changes the video and we can even adjust the color tints and temperatures for example, if it was too warm before with that Jingle Bells filter that we're using, we can pull down the temperature a little bit here to make it a little cooler and add that blue tone. So you can really use these manual color adjustment options to fine tune your video's color palette until it just matches your vision perfectly. Now this is a full color grade before and after and as you can see it just changes the vibe completely and adds this creative cinematic look. And there you have it. In this episode, we've explored color grading in CapCut on your computer from easy to use filter presets to manual color adjustments for that extra level of control. Remember, color grading can significantly impact the overall look and feel of your video, so don't rush through this step. And congratulations, you've reached the end of our comprehensive CapCut tutorial series. You've now learned the basics of video editing from putting together a compelling storyline in CapCut to adjusting video speed, adding text, enhancing your videos with sound and music, and finally grading the colors. With these skills in your toolkit, you're now equipped to create amazing videos that capture attention, tell stories, and leave a lasting impact on your audience. But remember, this is just the beginning of your video editing journey. The more you practice and experiment, the better you'll become. So keep honing your skills, stay creative, and don't be afraid to push your boundaries. If you found this course helpful and want to continue learning, be sure to subscribe to the channel for more editing content tips and tricks. And of course, to put your newfound skills into action, make sure to download CapCut using the link under this video. Thank you so much for watching. I wish you all the best on your creative journey and hope to see you again soon. Peace.